here's the thing. I find making videos kind of awkward and uncomfortable, and I'm just trying to figure out how to do a YouTube channel. And I apologize if it seems like, you know, I'm not putting my personality into the videos because I am trying to, <laughs> and my mom would tell you that this is crazy that it's hard for me to make these videos because I wanted nothing but attention when I was younger. And I remember stealing the video recorder, video recorder and making my own films. So I'm just gonna have to channel that little, little Hannah. For those of you, my awesome eight subscribers or um, not subscribed yet. I'm gonna tell you a little story. When I was in high school, at church we have um, adults that, are, that work with us. One of those youth leaders I had was named Erin. She's an amazing woman. She and her dad, Tom, always did like calligraphy and had all these cool inks and pens and Erin did more with watercolor as well. I had a knee surgery and I had to basically sit on the couch for eight weeks while I waited for everything to heal up and I asked her to come over so I wouldn't be bored out of my mind. She taught me how to do calligraphy, taught me how to do watercolor. Teaching somebody is only part of it. That person then has to practice and and develop a talent. She did something for me that I could not do for myself, which was take the intimidation out of everything. People on Instagram, people on YouTube, they have all this fancy, like, I mean, this is only a fraction of the stuff I have, but they have like, you know, more expensive watercolors and they have hundreds of brushes and they have, or pens. They have tons of, you know, fancy brushes and their paint is really good and their paper is really good and it's all really expensive. I remember thinking, how am I ever going to know if I like this without investing all this money? That might be a waste if it turns out that I don't like it. My goal is to take the intimidation and the cost out of experimenting with watercolor. So I'm going to name this the Walmart Watercolor Series. Enter trademark here. Not really, it's not trademarked. I have lived in little towns before that even Hobby Lobby wasn't in that town. You have to drive out, out of town to get to a Hobby Lobby, but in that town was a Walmart. So, um, I went to my good old neighborhood Walmart and I found a pad of watercolor paper, and a palette of watercolor with a really shoddy brush, it's all frayed, and a value pack of brushes. These flat brushes, guys, I've also never been to art school, so I kind of don't know terms for things, so these flat brushes, maybe that's the term, maybe it's not. I use these for like acrylic painting more. So you're, you're looking for brushes that are round. That's a little guy, but you get the gist. Round brushes. All of this, so what, $15? So I'm gonna make these videos and I'm going to try to concentrate on a little specific non-threatening one thing at a time skill that you can practice, then maybe it'll get progressively um, more complex. My goal is to make this affordable and less intimidating and more simplica simplicated, simplified. Um, <laughs> using these three things, and of course like paper towels if you're messy like me, but using these three things, I challenge you, my dear friend, actually follow along with me on these videos. To sit down at a table and to get out the palette and to try, ooh, I just knocked out a black. Very high quality, guys, $5 at Walmart. I want this to be for all of you who admire and are curious but are a little bit scared. I challenge you to keep 
to keep the, this is all your this is all you're gonna need in a cup of water but I challenge you to, to keep this in a place that you can see that won't be you know too much effort to get out and when you open these videos I challenge you to sit with me and get out your watercolor because I won't do it sped up I'm gonna try to do it for the most part you know there's occasions when <laughs> you don't need to see how long I take we're gonna do things like galaxy and roses and a simple um, gradient I'm here to help and I want to take out the intimidation I appreciate your support I appreciate your feedback and let's let's do this and this watercolor series is dedicated to Erin because she's the one who did this for me.